Hey guys, just going to do a quick review of the Nokia E72. Um, it is quite a nice device. Um, they've kept the look of it quite similar to how the E71 was, but in my opinion, they've improved on quite a few bits. And if you look below this video, I'll put a full comparison between the two devices on there. Firstly, I'll put uh, the battery itself in. Oh, and my SIM card. The battery itself is actually the same as the one on the E71. The SIM card goes into this uh, slot at the top here. Let's see if we can get it in there. And just pop the battery in. Uh, with the device itself, now it has a 5 megapixel camera at the top with a single LED flash, a loudspeaker at the back there as well. On the E71 it used to actually be at the top of the device. I'm not too sure if it makes much of a difference either way. I'm just going to turn the device on. Um, on the right hand side you have the volume up, volume down and the button to use for voice dialing and things like that. At the top you've got the power button. They've got rid of the red button now so you've just got the metal one and you've got a 3.5mm headphone socket which is always nice. As you can see there the camera does stick out a bit like it did on the E71 but obviously it's better than ha having a little bit stick out rather than the whole device being a lot thicker. Um, at the bottom of the device the only thing you've got is the 2mm charging socket but just next to that you've also got the lanyard loop and on the left hand side you have the memory card slot which comes with a 4 gig memory card in normal sales package obviously depending on where you are you may be slightly different and just above that you've got the micro USB slot um, you can actually charge the device via the micro USB slot as well as the millimeter jack at the bottom Okay. and as you can see it is quite a uh, loud uh, ringtone on there so I'll just set the date and the time very quickly okay so like with the E71 uh, very similar software so you've got the active desktop on there by default you can customize pretty much everything that's in here so you can have it accessing all the things that you want to access um, the phone itself you've still got the normal up down left right like you did on the 71 but one of the things they've added is a optical pad in the middle so by just moving your finger across the middle of this pad you can move up down left right on there um, and you don't have to actually push down which is very useful for when you're browsing the internet on the device personally I prefer to still use the normal button keys when going through the menus because it's a lot quicker usually and in the menu itself there are a few extra um, additions on there so you've got in the applications I believe you've got uh, Vlingo built into the device I believe it's a uh, full version of the software and it's not just a demo or anything like that you've got other things like um, SC here which is um, allows you to create uh, connection groups for internet connectivity so you can select which group to connect to when and customize it similar to what you might have seen if you've seen the connection menu on a touchscreen Nokia device like the N97 etc and push to talk it's not available in the UK unfortunately um, that's on there and the OV maps as you get on all new Nokias or new Symbian Nokias anyway now and that's obviously completely free you can download the maps on the Nokia website itself um, in the office like you did previously you get uh, the full version of quick office and you can actually create edit um, documents so you've got Word, Excel and PowerPoint on there obviously there are limitations being uh, just a mobile device but it's nice to have the functionality on the phone itself 
and obviously you can browse around. The updates are free as, as far as I'm aware as they were on the E71 and you have all the normal stuff. You do have a application on here which is the multi-scanner. I'll put a separate video on um, how, how that works and things um, just below this one so keep an eye out for that and pretty much everything else is as you'd expect you have all your normal features text messages I've actually transferred all the information from my here X6 um, onto this just temporarily whilst I'm trialing it and it's easy to do which is always nice so to do that all you have to actually do is control panel and you just use the switch application here and you can choose where to send it from and where to send it to and just synchronize two phones so either receive it or send it to another device obviously it does have to be a Nokia Symbian device but it doesn't matter which particular one it is so the only multimedia phone which it won't work on at the minute is the N900 but you can always use Nokia PC Suite to do it uh, to transfer all your information um, as with the E72 you can actually customize the four option keys you have here so by pressing it briefly you do one function by holding it down you do another for example that one does the uh, task manager and the menu you've got calendar so you just go into the main calendar itself but if you actually hold it down it will load up the calendar but then it will start up a new one so you can enter a new event on there again contacts does something similar so pressing it goes into your contacts but holding it down will allow you to add a brand new contact straight away um, so you don't have to go through all the menus to do it and mailbox at the moment it's set to email I haven't got any defined at the minute so it's not going to let me do it but again if you hold it down it allows you to create a new email um, on the device and one of the nice things with this one obviously you're going to have business life but you want to still be able to use the phone for personal so you have option here to switch between business mode and um, personal mode so you can have two different themes completely and easily switch between them without having to change all the settings and things so that's gone into personal mode now obviously different background maybe um, and things like that on there so you get quite a lot of nice features on there and I'll just quickly show you the flashlight so if you just hold down the spacebar key and it'll show the light on there and I'm just going to hold it down again and it will switch it off so it's quite useful when you're out and about or if your car's broke down in the night you've got you know you've got a little torch there and it's always available I hope that's been useful for you